grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, also with, with you. you. Would you like to sit down? So we meet formally to license Richard Anthony Clarkson, often known as Rich, as priest in charge of Kinver and Enville. The circumstances are clearly somewhat unusual. However, let us just be thankful for what we can be thankful for, um, the ability to gather together, those of us who are able, um, to, to celebrate the beginning of this new ministry, and above all, to celebrate the fact that Richard has been called to be your new priest for these churches, for these villages. Um, a process that began a little while ago now, um, but has now reached its, uh, it, its point now, whereby the family is settled, I trust, I'll check out later, um, in your new accommodation, and starting to find your way around, um, and starting, I trust, to be welcomed into the communities. Of course, um, this is part one um, of the, the welcome um, to, to Richard. Um, his ministry will begin from, from now um, without any question. Um, but in terms of being formally inducted as um, rector of these churches, of this benefice, that of course has to wait uh, for a later occasion uh, when we can have a much larger gathering um, with many, many more people able to, to attend uh, from, from the communities um, of these parishes as well as from the, the church memberships. So we look forward greatly to that day, but let us not be in any doubt that Richard's ministry is among you is beginning from this point, and so we, we greatly uh, celebrate that fact, um, and it's wonderful that you're here um, to, be, to be part of this inauguration of Richard's ministry. So, the service is a um, short one um, this afternoon, but it consists of the um, declaration and swearing of Richard's oaths, which Archdeacon Julian will um, take him through in a moment, um, and then the reading out of, of Richard's license, which um, will refer to him as priest in charge, which he uh, legally needs to be um, until he is inducted uh, as rector in due course. However, he will be able to function with all necessary powers um, of a priest in the interim, so don't worry, you're not going to be shortchanged. And there's nothing that he can't do. <laughs> well, as it were. <laughs> um, and uh, then, of course, we will, we will have a time of prayer. And thank you so much to Richard for agreeing to lead us in prayers. And, and just to be clear about uh, about the reason I'm not wearing a mask at this point is because the Church of England's guidelines do specify that those who are actually taking speaking parts uh, in a service, um, whether preaching or, or leading a service or leading prayers, um, are not required to, um, as long as obviously social distancing is maintained. So I don't think I'm doing anything, but I shouldn't be. <laughs> Hopefully not, anyway. I won't sing which is probably a blessing for everybody. <laughs> so, Archdeacon Julian. Bishop, I present to you Richard Anthony Clarkson, who has been chosen to serve as priest in charge of the benefit of Kinver and Enville. Richard, are you willing to commit yourself to this new responsibility? With God's help, I am. The Church of England is part of the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church, worshipping the one true God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It professes the faith uniquely revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds, which faith the Church is called upon to proclaim afresh in each generation. Led by the Holy Spirit, it has borne witness to Christian truth in its historic formularies, the 39 Articles of Religion, the Book of Common Prayer, and the ordering of bishops, priests, and deacons. 
in the declaration you are about to make, will you affirm your loyalty to this inheritance of faith as your inspiration and guidance under God in bringing the grace and truth of Christ to this generation and making him known to those in your care? I, Richard Anthony Clarkson, do so affirm and accordingly declare my belief in the faith which is revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds and to which the historic formularies of the Church of England bear witness. And in public prayer and administration of the sacraments, I will use only the forms of service which are authorised or allowed by canon. I request you to take the oaths required by law. I, Richard Anthony Clarkson, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law, so help me God. I, Richard Anthony Clarkson, do swear that I will pay true and canonical obedience to the Lord Bishop of Lichfield and his successors in all things lawful and honest, so help me God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, after due consultation, Richard has been chosen and presented to be priest in charge of the benefice of Kinver and Enver. Will you support Richard in this ministry and uphold Richard by your prayers? With God's help, we will. Let us therefore pray for God's blessing on Richard and on our work together in growing the kingdom of God. Almighty and ever-living God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer for all your people in their life and work, and especially for Richard and your church in this place. Fill us with the knowledge of your truth, that in our varied ministries we may serve your kingdom in the world, to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Clive, area Bishop of Wolverhampton, under the authority of Michael, by divine permission, Bishop of Lichfield. To my beloved in Christ, Richard Anthony Clarkson, Clark in Holy Orders, greetings. Whereas the benefice of Kinver and Enville is now vacant and destitute of an incumbent, I have consulted with the parochial church council and with the patron of the benefice as to appointing you to serve as priest in charge, and you have agreed so to serve and you have made and subscribed the oath of allegiance to the Crown, the oath of obedience to the Bishop of Lichfield, and the declaration of assent as required by canon. I now grant you hereby my licence and authority to serve until the admission of an incumbent to the said benefice, as priest in charge of the benefice of Kinver and Enville, but to be known as and referred to as rector of the benefice of Kinver and Enville. I commit to you the cure of souls and spiritual care of the parishioners thereof, and I invest you with all the rights and duties belonging to your office, to which end I charge you and give you my license and authority to preach the word of God, to lead public worship, to read the common prayers, to celebrate the Holy Communion of the Lord's Supper, and administer the Holy Sacrament and to perform all ecclesiastical, spiritual, and temporal duties of your office, doing all things in your power, to evangelise and to instruct the people of the parishes comprised within the benefice in the Christian faith. And I further authorise you to exercise the ministry of your holy order at any time or place within the Diocese of Lichfield, of which the incumbent or other competent authority 
shall assent to you so officiating. I reserve to the Bishop of Lichfield and to his successors all the rights appurtenant to his episcopal jurisdiction in relation to your office and your ministry, in witness of which I have signed this deed of license and have applied the episcopal seal of the Bishop of Lichfield on the ninth day of August 2020, in the ninth year of his consecration and of his translation to the See of Lichfield, the fifth. And I commend you, Richard, to Almighty God, humbly praying in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that his blessing may rest upon you and your work. Richard, receive this license in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, Richard, if you'd like to, to just perhaps stand here. I'm going off script here, but it just occurred to me that we have a very select gathering here, and you're all here for a reason, um, because you have a particular uh, role, uh, a very important one, um, within the life of these churches or indeed deanery. So I wondered whether those who are gathered might just like to, to come, obviously one at a time, observing due distancing, and simply say a sentence of welcome uh, on behalf of those who are here to represent, or in whichever capacity you are here. I hope that's okay. Thank you. Richard, it's lovely to, to welcome you to the deanery, and um, looking forward to serving with you as um, within the deanery as well, so with your dean. And as you know, there's a chapter meeting on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> forward to it. That's no, great. Welcome. Thank we look forward you. to spending time with you and the family. <laughs> Thank you. That was Reverend Julia Cody, Rural Dean of Treasel. Richard, it's lovely to welcome you to Kimber and Enville. It's been a long time coming and we're absolutely delighted that you have arrived to, to be amongst this vibrant community. And welcome to your family. <laughs> to your wife and the boys, and I hope you have a very, very happy time here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Richard Hithersley, Chair of Treasel Dean. Hi, Richard. It's lovely to welcome you to St Peter's Kimber and St Mary's Enville. I hope you're very happy here and that Lucy and the boys settle in. Thank, Thank you very much. I hope to see you back a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Barry. Patron of the Susan Miller. From one Richard to another, uh, I welcome you on behalf of all our friends at St Mary's in Enville. We mentioned to you a couple of days ago when we, we last met that it was almost six months to the day since your familiarisation day, and I thought this chap could well fit in here. <laughs> We're six months on, and I'm delighted to see you, and most welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Richard. Mm. Hello, Richard. Uh, Glenys Cutler, Church Warden. We have been waiting for this day for 15 months <laughs> and, and we welcome you wholeheartedly. And please, if you want to know anything about the village, you've got my phone number, please ring me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Glenys. Richard, I add my welcome to those you've heard already, but a heartfelt welcome. Um, we've done our best without a leader, but we're looking forward to you taking us in new directions. Welcome and welcome to Lucy and the boys. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, very much. So now the uh, formal words of welcome after the heartfelt informal ones. Brothers and sisters in Christ, now that Richard has been licensed to his new ministry, let us welcome him in God's name. 
In the name of the Lord, we welcome you. Was worthy of a bigger congregation. So, well done. <laughs> we'll now, now have a, a moment's quiet as, as we prepare to, to be led in prayer by Richard Barron. Thank you, Richard. Let us pray for the growth of God's kingdom in our benefice, our diocese, and our nation, saying, Father, your kingdom come. Your will be done. In Jesus, you came to bring good news to all people. Send us out to build your kingdom. As living stones, anoint us with your spirit and strengthen us to work in his name. We pray for Rich and Lucy that today they will know your special anointing for the task ahead. Father, your kingdom come. Your, your will, will be done. done. Send us to bring justice to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. Help us to exercise our influence for good in the world, our nation and our neighbourhood. Give us the courage to see our village communities through your eyes. Father, your kingdom come. Your, your will be done. Send us to serve our local communities, bringing your love and truth to young and old, in our homes, our schools, our care homes, our places of work and leisure. Father, your kingdom come. Your will be done. Send us to share with the world the good news of your healing love in all the brokenness of life, and help us to be faithful witnesses to the risen glory of your Son. Father, your kingdom come. Your will be done. Send us to the sick and those who mourn, that we may bring comfort to all in sorrow and light to those who live in darkness. Father, your kingdom come. Your, your will be done. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory today and in the days to come. Father, your kingdom come. Your, your will, will be, be done. done. Amen. 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 Say a word or announce when you will next be leading worship in whatever form that might take. So, perhaps you'd like to say a word or two. Thank you. First of all, thank you very much for the welcome today and over the last couple of weeks we felt so welcomed and valued um, as new members of these communities. So, thank you to everybody from Inver and Enville who's made us feel so welcome. Um, it's just a joy to be with you and I'm really looking forward to my ministry among you and our ministry as a family and our lives uh, among you. So thank you very much. Um, in terms of quite when and how and where I'll be leading worship, we have yet to exactly firm up the details, but I'll be at church um, in Hinver next Sunday at half past nine and Enville at 11, um, doing some form of something um, <laughs> to be worked out tomorrow and Tuesday. Uh, but I really look forward to that and um, I'm sure you'll see my face on Facebook as well, those of you who are watching online. Um, so, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So, this service now concludes with words of blessing. May the boldness of the Spirit transform us, the gentleness of the Spirit lead us, the gifts of the Spirit equip us to serve and worship the Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.